hey guys welcome to my channel thank you for clicking if you're new here you are welcome as well consider subscribing to join this family my name is Joanna in today's video I'm showing you how to make this basic bodies block pattern let's get straight to this tutorial so guys now the materials you're going to be using for this tutorial I have my marker pen I have my tape rule I have a ruler I have an armhole curve and then the pattern paper itself let's get straight to it so guys we are going to be cutting um, the front part of the basic bodies block first now anytime you are going to cut this consider that of your biggest measurement it can be your bust measurement or your hip measurement so the circumference which is bigger consider that for the fabric or your pattern paper so in this case my hip measurement is the biggest of all of that of my measurement so I'm going to divide my hip measurements by four then add extra seam allowance or extra inches for you to able to cut it out and then add your seam allowances so I'm assuming that this my pattern paper is on fold I'm trying to manage this now I'm going to create my starting point so I came down by one inch like this and then straight it out so that is going to be my starting point or my shoulder line Okay, now we are going to take that of our vertical measurements. That is, if the person is standing, we are going to be taking that. So I went down 10 inches for my bust, my bust point, 16 inches for my waistline, and I will count 8 inches away from the 16 inches to get 24 inches for my hip line. It can be 25 depending on the person you are sewing for. And then this is a basic or somehow the standard measurement for the basic body block so this may differ according to the person you are cutting for or you are sewing for so i went ahead and repeated the same measurements on the pattern and then straight it out okay guys now i'm going to label the parts this is my bust line the waistline the hip line and then you can go over the full length of the dress okay guys so now from here I'm going to divide my shoulder to shoulder measurements by 2 I have 16 so divided by 2 I get 8 inches so that's what I'm going to mark here so guys the next thing I'm going to do is to get that of my chest line to be able to get my armhole so now how to get this is to divide your bust measurement by 6 and then add one and a half inches to it so I had 8 inches after doing this. I had approximately 8 inches. So I'm going to root that out as well. Okay guys, so that's it for my chest line. Now you see, that's the vertical measurement. That's if the person is standing from the shoulder line to the chest line, to the bust line, to the waist, and then to the hip, and then the full length of the dress you're making. Okay guys, so remember I've already taken that of our shoulder to shoulder measurement by 2. I'm going to repeat that measurement on the chest line and then connect it to that on the shoulder line like this. After that, I'm going to go down on the shoulder line 1 inch like this. After that, I'm going to find that of my neckline, which I'm going to mark 3 inches. Which I'm going to mark 3 inches. You can decide how wide you want it to be and how long you want the depth to be. So I went... 3 inches for the width and then 3 inches for the depth. So I went ahead to use my curve ruler to connect it. I'm also going to go ahead to connect that of the shoulder. Um, the 1 inch we came down from the shoulder line to the neckline to get our shoulder slant. I hope this is understandable. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of this line and then that of the chest line. Then I'll come in by half inch. It can go in as, as much as 3 quarter of an inch or one and half centimeter it's optional okay guys so the next thing that i'm going to do is to divide my bust measurement by four just divide my bust measurement by four and then i'm going to add half inch to weight for easiness on the chest line to get that of our armhole curve so that's exactly what i'm going to do so that's my bust measurement divided by four that I just marked. So I'm going to add a half inch that I said for easiness on it as well. I'll add half inch for easiness like this to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and then connect this three point together to get your armhole 
curve like so so this is it for the front part of the basic bodies block um hole so now i'm going to get that of my nipple to nipple measurement that is measuring one nipple to the other nipple and whatever you have divided it by two so that is what i'm going to divide and then mark that on my waistline i'm going to mark that also on my hip line and then on my bust line i'll go ahead and then straight that out okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark half inch on both sides of the dart line on the waistline like this okay so i'm going to come down from the bus line one inch like this you are trying to get our that then i'll come up from the hip line two inches like this now i'm going to connect the point together like this i'm going to connect the points like this from where we came down one inch from the bus line and then two inches up from the hip line like so so this is our waist that Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and then take that of my horizontal measurements. But first of all, I'm going to divide my bus circumference by 4 and then mark that there. And then add 2 inches seam allowance. You can do that later when cutting on the actual fabric. So on the waistline, I'll divide my waist measurements by 4 and mark that there. I'll add the 1 inch that we just made. I'll add it to it and then add my 2 inches seam allowance. Now on the hip line, I'll also divide that by 4, my hip circumference by 4 like so, and mark it there. I'll also go ahead and then add 2 inches seam allowance as well. Okay guys, so let me remind you that this is just a basic bodice block for you to uh, make your dresses. So this is just the basic, whatever you intend to do with this is absolutely up to you. So that's it i'm going to go ahead and then connect the lines together i'm going to go ahead and then connect the point together so like i said um from the hip line how long you want your dress to be is it's up to you so i just went down on the full um i just went down with the same measurements on the hip line to the full length of the dress so when you're making your own dress or whatever you're going to use this block for you decide later on okay guys so after reaching here um we are going to be finding that of our side that or what people usually call it bust that so i'm going to find the midpoint of my chest line and then my waistline i'm going to divide that by two like this i'll find the midpoint and then connect it to the bust point like this connect it to the bust point where we mark the dots so i'm going to mark half inch on both sides of this new line like this what we are going to do next is to go in one inch like this from the bus point like so and then i'm going to connect the lines together to that point okay guys now the creation of the um the side or the bus that actually enables your boots to sit in well in your dress when you add it away okay so now that you've taking that of the side that you're going to place it down there remember if you sew it your front bodice is going to be shortened by one inch so we are going to place i mean replace that one inch at the down part of um, your dress assuming this is a half block like it ends at your waistline then you have to add it to that of your waistline i mean the one inch that to that of your waistline so in this case we are start we are stopping at that of our hip line so i'm going to go down from the hip line one inch like this so we are placing the dart at the hip line using my care ruler i'm going to connect it to the center like this i'm going to connect it like this and then straight out to the seam allowance like so so this is basically it so i'm going to go ahead and then add the joining seam allowance on the shoulder and then that's of the down parts of the basic body block so i'm going to go up half inch like this and then connect the line to to make that as my shoulder seam allowance so i'm going to mark half inch down there as well for my um for the down part seam allowance you can do this later while cutting on your actual fabric or you can add it to this as well 
okay guys so that's it we are done with the front part of the um, basic bodies block so i just went ahead to label it so this is the front pattern so i'm going to go ahead and then cut this out before we get to that of our back part of the basic bodies block so guys if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please consider clicking on the subscribe button like this video leave a comment if you enjoyed watching this tutorial and then share this video so guys this is my front basic bodies block so let's move to that of the back parts of this basic bodies block so i came down by one inch for my shoulder line and then also went ahead to mark that of my zipper line i i went in by one and a half inches for my zipper line so i went ahead to label that so that's the zip allowance okay guys so after this i'm going to go ahead and then take that of my vertical measurements like i said the zip allowance is one and a half inches so starting from the shoulder line i'm going to go down and then take that of my bust my waist and then my hip measurements just as we did for the front part sorry the front part of the uh, body so mark that and then straight that out so guys i'll go ahead and then take that of my horizontal and then vertical measurements this is almost the same as that of the front but it's just a slight difference so i'm going to take all the vertical and then the horizontal measurements and then show you the difference in this so let me go ahead and then do this okay so the difference is just going to be that of the armhole and then that of the the zipper allowance the neckline and few things so the next thing I'm going to do is to mark that of my neckline weight, which is 3 inches. And then the depth also depends on what you want. So I went out by 1.5 inches and then used my Kevula to give it a round neck shape like this. This is optional, how, whatever you want. So I went down from the shoulder line 1 inch and then connected it to that of the neckline. Like I said, this is similar to the front bodies. Few changes. Now, I find a midpoint of this line just as we did for that. So, instead of um, going in half inch for the arm hole curve, we are not going to go in for the back bodies. We are just going to connect it like this. We are just going to connect this like this. So, the only difference is that the front bodies arm hole is deeper than the back arm hole. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark that of my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2. So I'll mark that on the waistline, on the bust line, and then on the hip line, then I'll come up and then join the lines together like this. Okay guys, so just as we did for that of the front part, I'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on the waistline of the dad, and then I'll come up on the hip line 2 inches then connect them like this from the bust points i'll connect the dots and then connect it to the two inches that we came up from the hip line like this so this is the dot for the back part so like i said this is simple it's just like the front but it's just a slight difference so i went ahead to divide my bust measurement by four and then added my two inches in my allowance so on my waistline i divided it by four and marked that plus my one inch dot and then the two inches in my allowance I repeat the hip measurement by dividing it by 4 and then add my 2 inches in my allowance just like that of the front bodies. So that's this. I went ahead to connect the point together. Okay guys, so this is it for the, um, the back part. I forgot to add the shoulder seam allowance and then the down part seam allowance. So so guys, you can go ahead and then add that when you are cutting it on your actual fabric or you can just add it to it just as I added it to it on the front bodies. So I'm just cutting out the back bodies pattern. So this is it. This is simple as you can see. If you understood this video, please give this video a thumbs up. So I went ahead to connect the neckline to that of the zipper line to be able to cut it out like so. This is simple. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe and share this video to your friends and then your family. See you on my next video and then keep being amazing wherever you are. Peace out. Bye.